Cajun Dirty Rice, can it be done on the griddle? We just knocked it out of the park. Let me tell you, the spice level, the meat, the rice is moist. Everything you want in a dirty Cajun rice, we just knocked it out. If you guys want to see how we make it, here we go. With the rice, we have one bag, 16 ounce, just plain white rice. We've rinsed it, got all the starch off. Four cups of water. I'm taking the amount of water, I'm reducing it because once we put it back on the griddle, I want to be able to absorb more flavors and not have it mushy. Three bay leaves, one teaspoon of salt. You can use chicken stock if you want to. I'm just gonna use chicken bouillon and one tablespoon. All right, we have a little prep work to do. Our rice is cooking. Let's look at the ingredients that we got. Now, I'm not saying this is 100% Cajun authentic. I'm just saying that there's some ingredients that I would like to add and I think that's what most cooking is about. So give or take, this is our griddle inspired dirty rice, Cajun dirty rice. Green onion, celery, bell pepper, and onion, garlic, parsley. There's some ground beef. I got a Cajun sausage, probably not traditional, but I just think it's gonna impart a ton of flavor. Some chicken liver, salt, pepper, oregano. We have thyme, Cajun seasoning. I don't know if I mentioned that. Some red pepper and some flour. Alrighty, our rice is done. You can see the bay leaves in there. I'm actually just gonna leave the bay leaves in there. It's not gonna hurt anything for right now. We can take them out later. It might infuse a little bit more flavor. All right, just gonna take that rice, lay it out thin, and then we are going to refrigerate it. I don't know if I'm gonna cook this today or tomorrow, but we're gonna prep it for today. And then if not, then we will just cook it tomorrow. All right, we're about to knock this out, so let's quickly just go over the list of ingredients now that we got everything mise en place, okay? We've got our rice that's been cooled down. It's the day of, whether it be the day after, I don't know what's gonna matter, because this is just the griddle version. Green onions, bell peppers, garlic, onions, celery, uh, Cajun seasoning, parsley. We have thyme, oregano, and uh, red pepper. Our chicken livers, ground beef. I did the hot uh, Tennessee prod sausage for a little spiciness, and this is our Cajun sausage there. So while our grill's heating up, let's go and get a small dice on our Cajun sausage. Like I said, I don't think this is traditional by any means, but we had it in the freezer and it just sounded like it'd be a good time to use it. So this is really a protein heavy, dirty rice. We got a lot of meat in here. Oh yeah, that's how we like it. All right, sausage, ground beef goes down. We're gonna brown this off completely. Start getting some of that grease off of there, then we'll start working with it. It's not all the way cooked through yet. It's fine, we'll get there. Celery, onion, bell pepper, and about half of our green onion. Save a little bit for garnish. See how our grease coming over? Use that to your advantage. That's where all that flavor is at. Hit it with just a little pepper and salt.
Just working to break up all those little chunks of beef. And now we're just looking to tenderize those peppers, onions, and celery. We haven't added the garlic yet. We're gonna hold off on that. It smells so good. I'll throw just a touch of oil down. You can use butter if you want to. Cut up that sausage, put in that rice. So as that uh, rice warms up, that sausage releases the grease and the oils and maybe flavors up some of that rice a little bit. Take those bay leaves out when you find them. Our vegetables are getting tender. You see the steam it's creating. Now we're gonna go ahead and add that garlic so it don't burn. Add those chicken livers. Yeah, look at those little charred bits of sausage in there. That's a bonus. I just have some chicken stock here that I just warmed up on the stove. Because I don't want this to be a dry dish. So just trying to incorporate a little bit more flavor, keep it moist. A lot of these recipes called for a little bit of flour, so I'm gonna add about two tablespoons. Come back in with that Cajun seasoning. Those spices, the red pepper, thyme, and oregano. The rest of the green onion. Got parsley. Just a touch more stock. Let's incorporate it all together. Mix it together really well. Do you know how much chicken stock you had total? Eight ounces. I had no idea how much I was going to use. So one cup. Yep. Doesn't take too long at all. And once it all mixed together, you got some moist rice. Maybe just to reiterate just a little bit, this is not fried rice, although it's very familiar. Your uh, rice should be a little bit more moist. Definitely not dry. And I don't even want to taste it without putting some hot sauce on there. You guys do you. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How could it not be good? Dang. You got so much stuff in there. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I smoke here. Let me try out the hot sauce. I think the Tennessee Pride sauce is shed over the edge. Best sausage in the land. That's your go-to. It's a little bit spicy. Reminds you of that jerk chicken. Mm. But that's good. Mmm. 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 That's oh, good. <laughs> it is spicy. It is good. Man, with some good fried chicken. That's good. <laughs> good job, babe. That's here. <laughs> <laughs> I love some Caucasian food, boy. Is it spicy because of the hot sausage, you think? Yeah. It's got to be. I like it more than I thought I would like it. <laughs> really? You were worried about the chicken livers. I was worried about the chicken livers. Them Cajun people know how to eat. I'm telling you. Mm. For the mm. spice level. Mm. Oh, was that a, like That's two or... Good. I know. God, that is good. It's filling. It's comforting. There's a lot of meat in there. You could eat it by itself or you could treat it as a side. 
Um, for the heat level, we only used a quarter of a teaspoon. The recipe will eventually be on our website. We can't get every recipe up as soon as we upload a video. It just takes way much longer on a website than it does uh, for filming. Cajun seasonings can definitely vary from heat level, so be careful with that. Uh, but I did intentionally use the hot sausage. If spice is something for you that you want to back off, use a mild sausage. I think it would work just fine. But I'm telling you, this is a home run. It is super You can call me out if you want to because I ain't Cajun. I didn't add this ingredient. I didn't add that ingredient or blah, blah, blah. But when it all comes together like this, this is fantastic. Damn, that's good. If you guys are interested, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on the Griddle Group on Facebook where we talk about griddles. I know we got a lot of Cajuns down there. Really looking forward to this one. Jake, I hope you enjoy this one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share with your friends. Peace. Mm. God, this is good. <laughs>